Hello everyone and welcome to Adult Hands-On with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we are going to be making our December craft. We're going to be making some snowman luminaries. Cute little snowman jars to light up the night during these cold winter months. Well, let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what we have in our craft kits today. In your take and make kit, you should have your instructions, a sponge, a tea light, some orange felt, two black buttons, your decoupage or mod podge, you should have some glue dots, and we have the glue dots, but I'm actually be going, to, or going to be using a hot glue gun today, and you can use one as well. Then we have our red pom-poms and two pipe cleaners and our fake snow, which I have already out on a plate. You can put yours on a plate as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first step is to take just our jar and our Mod Podge. So I'm going to get all the rest of this stuff out of here. And we're going to take our sponge. Now you can kind of cut off the rough part of the sponge on the back if you want to. Up to you. But essentially what we're going to do is take off our lid, take our Mod Podge, and we're going to dip our sponge in and cover our jar with a nice thick layer. So all the way around. So you can just quickly sponge it on there. It doesn't need to look perfect, but it does need to be thick. So we'll just keep sponging this on. And you'll notice that your jars are larger than my jars. I actually ran out of the large jars, which is why I'm using a small one, so that you guys could have the nice big ones. Okay, so now that's coated all the way. Next, we're going to take our plate of snow, and we're just going to start sprinkling our snow on there. Nice thick layer, and you can kind of pat it down to Just gently patting it down with our hands so that it sticks. And one more side. Great. So now we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and then we'll get started on the next part. But as you can see, now we have a nice frosty glass, a nice frosty jar. Our next step is going to be to add our eyes and our nose. So I'm going to cut out a little carrot shape out of my felt. have my little carrot shape and I'm going to oops, excuse me I knocked over my glue gun I'm going to just put some glue on the back of my felt and we're just gonna stick it on there kind of right in the middle great Next, let's put two glue dots, or use your glue gun to put two dots for the button eyeballs. There we go. 
Now we have our button eyeballs and our cute little nose. Next, let's make the earmuffs. So we're going to take our red and white pipe cleaners and we're going to twist them together. Kind of to make a candy cane looking design. There we go. That's nice. Now we're going to fit it into a U shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue it to the sides of our top, just like that. So you can take a glue dot and attach it to the sides and then stick that on, or you can use some hot glue like I'm going to. So we just stick that on nice and neat like that. Next, you're going to add either another glue dot or some more hot glue on the outside of your pipe cleaner. Get a good amount on there. Oops, excuse me again. And we're going to stick our red pom-pom on there. Hold it for a minute. And there we go. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Great. Now we have our cute little earmuffs. Our last step is to simply you want to get rid of all the strings from your hot glue. We're going to take our jar and we're going to take our tea light and turn it on. There we go. You'll stick it in your jar. Kind of hard to see with the lights on right now, but you can see it flickering a little bit right in there. Put the lid on, and you have your snowman luminary. Very cute, nice and light. It lights up the room. You can make your nose a little bit cuter than mine, but I think that will do for me. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me as we made our snowman luminaries. Very cute. Cute way to light up the night during these cold winter months. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest crafts and story times for your kiddos. And for more crafts for adults, make sure to keep an eye out on the library's website and our newsletter as well. My friends, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a great night. Goodbye.